What's up? This is going to be the records I've picked up over the last couple months. Just uh, responded to an ad on Craigslist about a week ago. And this dude was about an hour and a half north of town. But I'd been a DJ for most of his life and decided to go check out uh, the records he had. And I mean, definitely glad I did. So most of the first section of records in this video are going to be ones I picked up from this this guy. Shout out to Louie. This guy was uh, cool as hell. Got Nas. It was written. Most of these are the, are the first releases too, the first pressings. Uh, for, for the ones that did have a re-release. Then you got uh, Gangstar, Moment of Truth, The Gatefold, Gangstar, The Owners, Two and a Half LP. It's like two two um, LPs and then half another one. It's kind of funny. It's got like a blank sided um, side four, or side six. Um, Gatefold, Full Clip, Decade of Gangstar, Four LP, Gangstar, Greatest Hits. You got Diamond, Hatred, Passions, and Infidelity. Second album by him. Boogie Down Productions, by all means necessary. This dude took really good care of his records, especially for a DJ. Like you, stuff like this is usually trashed. You got uh, Pete Rock, Soul Survivor, double LP. First Pete Rock solo album. You got uh, Snoop, Doggy Style. Classic. Raekwon, only built for Cuban links, double LP. This one's much nicer than the copy I had, so I was really glad to, to find this. The Roots, Illadelph Half Life, The Gatefold. Oops. <laughs> With The Gatefold. LL Cool J, Walking with the Panther. Um, people kind of. People don't talk about this album, but honestly, this is one of my favorite Cool J albums. It's got it's got some really dope cuts on this. Get uh, zoom in here. Dropping them, smoking, doping. Clap your hands. Why do you think they call it dope? And my jam is uh, one nine hundred LL Cool J. This is a he's got a nice cover too, but um, people definitely sleep on this album. It's got some throwaway tracks on it, but it's got some really dope stuff too. Um, then out of California, you got this um. Dope Double LP, The Bums, Life and Time. Kind of on underground tip. These guys didn't get a lot of attention when they came out. It's a really solid album, though. Souls of Mischief, 93 Till Infinity. This is a newer release. Uh, kind of like an unofficial release. But um, it's a double LP. I mean, it sounds good. You got uh, Mob Deep, The Infamous, Double LP, First Release as well as Hell on Earth, first release. I've been reading that there's apparently, they, they came out with a gatefold version of this around the same time. I've never seen that, but I um, definitely would like to find that. But a uh, nice album. You got a uh, Pharaoh Munch, Internal Affairs, first Pharaoh Munch album, uh, after he um, split from Organized Confusion. Supposedly they had sample clearance issues with this, and it's not going to be re-released, but I mean it came out on Raucous, so I mean there's copies out there, but definitely something that you got to have in your collection. Outcast, AT Aliens, dope artwork on that. CNN, War Report, double album. This one is um, much nicer than the the version I got. Also, that thing was just totally beat, and this copy is really nice. First, first release too. You got uh, Jungle Brothers, Straight Out the Jungle, legendary album. I was reading about this one too. Supposedly, um, they just a lot of a lot of this they looped the records. They didn't really even use a sampler for the beats. So these are just like straight up samples on a lot of these. Pretty cool. Got a Helter Skelter, Nocturnal, out of the boot camp click, first album. Kind of hard to find. Double LP. MC8. We come strapped. This has got a nice chilled out, almost like a little bit spacey vibe to it for a for a gangsta album, man. It's it's really dope, actually, man. CMW have put out a lot of quality music. Nobody really talks about them, but 
Um, then we got the uh, Slim Shady LP, still on the shrink, double LP. Really nice to have that one finally. Wu Tang Forever, Gatefold, 4 LP, original release. Cool. I think this is, yeah, this is the last album. You got uh, Biz Marquee going off. This is another one that I just got a, a copy that's totally trashed from the first release. This is this came out in the mid 90s, I think, like a, a DJ re release, but it's really good. All right, so the rest of these are going to be 12 inch singles from this collection. You got uh, Dre Day. Manish, expect that. If you don't, if you haven't heard this, definitely peep this. This is um, some mid late '90s West Coast material, underground material. Not not really gangsta, but it's really, really, really dope. Bird mix, especially. Gangstar, just to get a rep and discipline promo. I think around the time that full clip album came out. A couple copies of Return of the Mac, which I always pick up. It's my joint. Return of the Mac. Notorious B.I.G. Kick in the door. This is the, a promo version. Most people have the the full 12 inch with Sky's the Limit and a couple other. I think it's got a couple other cuts on it too. But this is the first time I've seen it with just Kick in the Door on the promo. Apparently this one is a little more desirable. But um, glad to find that. Got Lord Finesse, Return of the Funky Man. Anything Lord Finesse, I always pick up, which is not that often. Protect Your Neck, Wu Tang Clan, another essential that I always pick up. Show and AG, Next Level, classic Primo track remix. Way better than the um, the original version, which is something you don't see as much these days. Gotta get over. From the uh, Trespass soundtrack, Gangstar. Really, I'm really a big fan of this cut, and it's only on the soundtrack. It wasn't on any, any of Gangstar's regular albums, so this is the first time I got it on vinyl. I was really psyched to find this. AD, uh, actually, no, this is the K Solo. I can't hold it back off his uh, second LP. Really nice cut. Second LP, LP was definitely his, my favorite by K Solo. Heavy D, you can't see what I can see. One of my favorite B-sides, like non-album cuts. And uh, Don't Curse on the A-side. Really, just a really nice, probably my favorite Heavy D, 12-inch. 12-inch um, record. And you got a Hip Hop Junkies, nice and smooth. Pause this for a sec. Alright, continuing on, we got Raekwon with Glaciers of Ice and Can It All Be So Simple. Promo 12 inch. Uh, there we go. Lords of the Underground. Check it in Psycho. A couple copies of that. Menace to Society sampler. Definitely got some nice cuts on it. Organized Confusion. Somehow, some way. It's an underground joint. Major stress. A Day in the Sty, and more and more. Salam Rimi actually did some production on this, so I had to check it out. It's not bad. A couple copies of... Oh, these are these are, these are are kind of beat. Not going to be able to do it by uh, Double X Posse with uh, the Headcracker on the B-side. Two short, a couple classic cuts from earlier albums, ones I like. Get this off. Split 12 inch, Large Professor, and Neat the Exotic, Ron Mania 99. With Master Ace, New York Confidential, on the, um, I guess it's on the Y side. Beastie Boys, Get It Together promo. Das FX, Mike Checo promo. Group Home, The Realness, and Suspended in Time promo. This is another one I. I got the picture cover version. I always like finding the promo version. Um, I don't know, music nerd thing, I guess. Red Man Can't Wait. Pete Rock Seal Smooth. They reminisce over you. Nas One Love. I'm pretty sure this is the original, the first release. It's got the, the peel off, like the, the sticker on it. Curious. 
I'm curious and Mansion in a Yacht. One of the one of those B sides again that's just classic. The A side's really dope too. One two pass it. D and D All Stars. This is another one I, I grab every time I see it. Alcoholics Next Level. That Diamond D beat uh, on the A side. Chile. Let the horns blow. Funky Lemonade. The Beat Nuts production. I had another copy of that, but I missed it um, at the end. Probably have to go back and try to find it next time. Original Hey Mr. MC. Try to get my focus working a little bit better. Yeah. This was really dope. Um, I got a handful of independent, like random rap, 12 inches, and this one actually turned out to be really good. Hey Mr. MC. Big L, MVP. Another copy of that. Yeah. Alright, my focus is messed up. Talib Kweli, Get By, with uh, Kanye West production. MOP, Rugged Never Smooth, and uh, Downtown Swinger, double 12 inch. Big L, MVP. Tribe Called Quest, Oh My God, remixes. MC8, All For The Money. Talking about him earlier, this is definitely a chilled out um, 12 inch. This, this, um, this song is single, like... You know what I'm saying? It's very, very low-key. Street Fighter soundtrack sampler with three cuts I really love on there. Come With It, The Mod, Raskas, and Saphir. It's a Street Fight by The Bums. Probably my favorite cut on this. And then, of course, you got Nas. One-on-one. -on -one. Get my focus working here. One on One by Nas. This album, you really don't hear people talk about the soundtrack that much, but these three cuts right here make the entire soundtrack. If you ever see this, definitely pick it up. Thank me later. Far Side Drop. Uh, B Miners Remix. Public Enemy Night Train with a Pete Rock remix on it. Trap Called Quest. Bonita Apple Bum with the uh, UK remixes as well. Trap Called Quest Electric Relaxation. Definitely a favorite of mine. Then you got Diamond, Best Kept Secret. Far Side, Passing Me By. Pete Rock Seal Smooth, Searching, Promo 12 Inch. World Renowned, How Nice I Am. Production by uh, K Def. This one's been on my Discogs one list for a minute. And. I've almost bought it a few times. I'm really glad I didn't though. I mean, I got for the price I got this for. This is a crazy find. OC, Born to Live, 12 inch. Brand Nubian, Alayu Akbar. Probably one of my top two or three favorite cuts off that God We Trust album. I really love this track. Group Home Legacy, produced by Premier, featuring Guru. Might as well be a gang star. Posse cut with Group Home on it, but um, it's pretty cool. Group Home, Living Proof. Classic 12 inch cover. Ghetto Boys, Mind Playing Tricks on Me. This one's still on the shrink. Mob Deep, Survival of the Fittest promo. Um, yeah. Ed OG, As Long As You Know, promo 12 inch. And uh, A Side. Love Comes and Goes. Found this one in a dollar bin. ADOR, Let It All Hang Out. Of course, produced by Pete Rock. I bid on this one. Picked it up on eBay just because it was local, independent. I didn't know anything about these guys. CPE, What You Want to Do. Some more uh, independent stuff. Gambit. And um, Pressure Point, Split 12 Inch. Boosting Kev, a chicken head. Come on. My light in here is really bad. I apologize for the focus issues. Um, Brooklyn taking money and a chicken head. You gotta love the Boosting Kev label art though. That's hilarious. I uh, found this one at the local store, Arrest the President, Intelligent Hoodlum, one of the early uh, Marley Mall productions. WeBI, Middle Eastern Thought. This is like the yellow label EP. I think it's a red label one too. But um, got a copy of this sealed. These dudes are local from Virginia. And um, I think they spent a lot of time in Richmond. This is a really dope, um, really dope EP. 
couple I found in the dollar bin just to close it up. Benny Ben, I'm taking over, and Rhyme Gets Rougher from 89. Some independent stuff is not bad. And UMC's One to Grow On. So, those are the uh, records I've picked up over the last couple months, and hope you enjoyed. Peace.